from Pacifica, California. Amy, 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 Amy. Myers, 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 Myers. Welcome to the Amy Myers. Amy does Amy Facebook Live show. All right. Welcome, Facebook friends. How are you this evening? Thank you so much for tuning in. Tonight is Amy Sings Amy, the piano set. <laughs> I'm going to be playing many of my original songs that I've written over the past three decades um, and sharing with you a little bit about what inspired them from um, artist influences to maybe some little backstory of some things that were going on. Um, and of course, as you know, we have Lou in the house to uh, help with the video and also uh, to help. Uh, and I have the mute button, <laughs> the power of mute. And also to help uh, facilitate the commentary. So, um, all right, say hi, Lou. Hello. And then we'll get this thing going. All right. And uh, so please like the page. And if you feel like that you have some friends that would like this, uh, share it. Start a watch party. Um, and uh, if you want to throw a tip my way, the information is down there. But it's paypal.me slash Amy Myers Music or Venmo.com slash amy dash myers dash 26 but i think the information is up there um and uh so here we are i started writing songs when i was in high school uh and mostly i was writing for the uh the church the the church youth services we had a big youth um uh, youth and in fact, uh, shout out to Jennifer Shalom to Yorana West in the house. She's like, like 20 feet away. So she was outside, but we decided to let her inside. And so she's way, way, way far away. But, um, but Jennifer, uh, went to PCBC with me. And so she probably remembers those days. And this is, uh, back when, uh, Amy Grant was on the scene, right? Yeah. She's nodding over there. And uh, uh, you might remember uh, El Adonai Age to age you're still the same By the power of the name Any Amy Grant fans out there? Um, yeah, woohoo! Jennifer saying, yeah, I'm an Amy Grant fan. Um, so that's kind of uh, a little history, which will tie in and, and kind of take you along the journey of, of how I started writing. So, uh, I, boy, I really wish that I had some of those early songs. I, I know that I had one that, that kind of went like, justify the Lord, for he is something today. And uh, I, I don't have any... There's got to be some recordings of that somewhere out there. I then went on to do uh, like a demo tape uh, when I was, I think, right after my senior year in high school. And then midway through college, I released Take a Look Around. And yes, I know, you, the youngsters are looking at that going, what is that? <laughs> it's a cassette tape. Yes. And, and let's just zoom in on that because it is so 80s. It's some, it's some big hair and some like green contacts and, <laughs> and I know you're thinking, oh, is she going to play something from that? Well, boy, do I wish that I could play something from that. I went to listen to it, but my Walkman, yes, my Walkman from the eighties was, uh, wasn't working. So I couldn't hear it. Oh, mine is working. And, uh, what's that? I'll bring mine. Okay, Lou's going to bring hers, but that's not going to help me for tonight. So maybe I will learn some. I know that my mom and dad, if they're watching, they're, they're probably really bummed. But I don't remember how any of them go, so I would have to learn them again. Well, all right. So uh, Jill Bramblett is listening to that cassette at home. Thank you, Jill, for joining us. Um, well, maybe you can learn the songs for me. Uh, okay, so... Uh, college so now I'm college I, I released this this is if you tuned into the Joni Mitchell shows the last couple of weeks you know that that's when I got in really started getting into Joni Mitchell and um, started writing a lot on guitar so a lot of my early 20s stuff is guitar so you'll have to wait till next week for the guitar set to hear a little bit more 
about that and hear some of those songs. So I spent most of my 20s listening to Joni Mitchell and Kate Bush and then, of course, Tori Amos because Tori Amos came onto the scene. So you can imagine the mishmash between Joni Mitchell, Amy Grant, uh, Tori Amos, uh, Kate Bush. Yeah, you see where this is going. So when I got back to writing on piano, I was in my late 20s, um, um, I released an album called The Wheel. Here's The Wheel. I'm getting some clapping over there. Right. So this this was kind of my first, uh, you know, adult, even though, I mean, this, this was kind of mid-adult or, or on the way to being an adult. This was my first kind of adult solo album released in 1997. So that made me 29. And... Um, and so that was, uh, I'll talk a little bit more about it, but I'm going to do the title track uh, called The Wheel. And I have not, I have not performed The Wheel in probably 20 years. Uh, yeah, except for this week when I was practicing it. <laughs> I did try to learn it. All right. So do we have any uh, The Wheel fans out there? Oh, well, sure, we will, and then we'll get rolling. I know there's a lot of talk, but, y you know, you got to know the story. Why don't we just go with the Texans that are watching? We've got Jill Bramlett, of course. Of course. All right, Jill and Susan. And, and Susan and the whole family. All right, Catherine. Libby Myers. All right. Mom. And, we have a very and who is that? All the way from Oregon. We have Judea Eden watching. <gasps> no. Yes. Judea. No. Judea, I'm, she came out of the uh, Wow, I'm so place. glad you're here, Judea. Yeah, you're going to love this. And you got your good buddy, Sierra. Of course. Melissa My pseudo daughter. M Yvette. Missy Mal. Yes. Yvette. Woohoo! Rick, our favorite guitar guy. He's happy I'm playing the wheel. He's very happy. <laughs> I know. He's, 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 very happy. he's jumping up and down. He's making little wheel icons everywhere. <laughs> Tim Pond is watching. Tim Pond. Yes. Okay. Um, God, Judy we got him all. Cuffer. Yeah, Barb okay. Plank. Uh, wow. Whoa, Barb, you're Pacifica. Blast. I'm Pacifica too. Barb Plank. Yes. And, and of course, Jennifer. Jennifer. Yes. Shalom, dear Anna. I've got a song about Mrs. Grigsby for later. Yeah, uh huh. She knows. Anyways. And All Rick, right. Rick said, The wheel killed me first time I heard it. Well, no, Rick, you're still alive. <laughs> Glad it didn't really kill you. All right, so without further ado, we're going to do the wheel. Woo! Brace yourselves. I'm going up to the sixth floor. Please let me off when we're there. That is a very strange outfit And that is very strange hair I have a land in my head now And I will figure my price And I will wait for a counter And I'll prepare for a loss And I'm a strong Grandma in 
And everybody wants to dunk old Mr. Red on a Saturday. And everybody is just running to the, running to the, running to the the forest that I dream up in my head. When you drink all day long, boy, you might as well just be dead. You might as well just be dead. You might as well just be dead. And everybody is just going to the fair And everybody is making a pie with grandma And everybody wants to dunk old Mr. Red on a Saturday And everybody is just running to the wheel Just running to the wheel just spinning on the wheel. All right. We've got the lone clappers in the house. All right. One thing I was going to say about that song. Um, so as you know, Tori Amos was, was spinning around in my head and the thing that I, I loved about Tori Amos was that she just broke all conventions. She she didn't really, she wrote a great pop song, but she didn't always follow that A, B, A, B, C, B format um, for musicians out there that are, that know what I'm talking about. But yet she, she just, she had so many hooks in her songs and they just, they kept you, you know, you went on this journey in, in these songs and, and you were surprised where you went sometimes. And then the other thing about her lyrics was they're so stream of conscious. It's like half the time I still listen to it. And I'm like, what is she talking about? Right. So I, I literally, the, I sat out to write the wheel in a space of, okay, I'm, I'm not going to filter anything. I'm just going to, I'm going to write from stream of consciousness. I'm going to just let my subconscious take over and whatever happens, whatever comes out, comes out. And so I, I, I hit record in the studio and um, I wrote this song about half an hour. And then later in production, um, I'll talk about that, uh, we added stuff onto it. But that's how the wheel came about. Um, so let's say hello to some folks, huh? Actually, you have a question. Oh, okay. From the home audience. Yes. This one comes from Minna Rogers. Oh, hi, Minna, from Drowsy Chaperone. From yes, Minna. Drowsy Chaperone from Palo Alto, I believe. Menlo Park. Menlo, so close. It's actually from Maya. Oh, Her hi, Maya. Her daughter has hi, a Maya. question. Yes, Maya. She would like to know why the album is called The Wheel. Well, that is a, that's a very, very good question. Um, Children are so inquisitive. They are. Well, let's see. The Wheel, because The Wheel to me kind of represents um, uh, life. You know, it's... It, things change. You go up, you go down. Sometimes you're scared, like when you're at the top. And sometimes you're feeling really secure when you're down at the bottom and you're, and you're feeling grounded. Um, and when you're, when you're up high, you, you have like a, a really good perspective of things. So sometimes you're in life, you're feeling like, wow, things are clear. I can see, I know what's coming. Um, so it's a metaphor for life. There you go. And that's how you explain that to a child. We have another new listener or watcher. We have Shannon Hovis, half of our favorite couple. Yes. Uh, well, how, well, where's we'll your be better dance. half? Wow, he's sure he's in Tahoe okay. with Shannon. We'll be dancing at their wedding, hopefully. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, Shannon. Right on. Um, and yes, for those of you that are just joining, we're doing the Amy Sings Amy set tonight. Um, I did the last two shows. I did Amy Sing Joni because Joni Mitchell has been a big influ influence of mine. And I sang a few originals just to give you a taste. So um, people were saying, no, we want to hear originals. So that's what we're doing tonight. Um, so we're doing we're talking about the wheel that I released in 1997. And I just did the title track. I'm going to do um, well. 
I the one of the hits off of the wheel is called Long Time, and I did that last week at the uh, the jo- Amy sings Joni. So I'm not going to do that this week. Aww. If if you know, well, hey, you know, if you want to hear it, you can go back and watch that uh, the the concert I did last week, or you can find me on Spotify, iTunes. Uh, you can go to my website, amymyersmusic.com, look, and, and you can go right to my um, music page, and you can listen, you can download. There are so many ways that you can that you can hear all of these songs, production and all. Uh, so I'm going to do uh, a different song. I'm going to do a song called Let Go that, again, here's our spiritual overtones. So we started off, I talked about how, you know, Amy Grant, of course, was was an early in influencer and then Tori Amos, she has a lot of spiritual stuff going on. Um, so this one's called let go. got some snaps going on there so if you just joined us uh that was from the wheel it was called let go and uh while we're paused here for a moment i just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the production so i was i was this was kind of an album for me that that um well i likened it to Joni mitchell's blue it doesn't sound the same but for her blue was kind of this album where she felt really just totally naked and um and vulnerable and and like she had nothing to hide she likens it to feeling like a cellophane wrapper on a cigarette on uh, a box of cigarettes but um you know I was 29 and I I just I, I didn't I had nothing that said stop you know 
And so production wise, I had um, Jerry Slavonia produce this album with me. And we just had a great partnership because we really saw eye to eye. And uh, I was in touch with him early um, or, or if you want to listen to it, I encourage you to listen to it because some of it's kind of out there. Not anymore, but at the time it was. And then, um, so on the art side of it, my really good friend Audrey worked with me on the art. We lived together at the time. And so we came up with this, um, here's the, the art. So <laughs> she painted the picture. She took the picture that's inside and then she painted the outside to look like an elevator. So I'm, I'm sticking my hand out to, to keep the elevator door. So if you remember the words from the wheel, I'm going up to the sixth floor. So then if you look at up here, you see the, the elevator and it's pointing to six. So everything within the artwork pointed to something in, in the songs, right? You kind of have to look and, and um, search for it. And then if you look on the back here, that's actually me at 10, and I, I was fishing, so I have a fish. Um, and so we pick up that theme back. There's fish on the plate here. Oh, wait. And then, of course, the Cheshire cat. Because um, you remember this, Jennifer. Who was the uh, AP uh, teacher we had in high school that called me the Cheshire cat? Because I was always sitting at the back of the class grinning. <laughs> like I was up to something, which I probably was. Um, so, and then inside, here's the best part. Every song has these beautiful paintings that Audrey painted and they're in color. So it was too expensive to print the, the booklet in, in black and white. I mean, in color. So we had to do it in black and white, but I call, I, I texted her yesterday. I was like, Oh, do you still have those paintings? She thought that she did They're somewhere, but we couldn't find them because I wanted to have them for tonight. So you could see how beautiful they are. But here's the one I wanted to show you. So this is for the wheel the song that I did, and that's a picture of my grandmother. So I had a photo of my grandmother, and then Audrey ended up drawing this with the Ferris wheel, um, which I just love. Isn't that great? It's so awesome. Um, yeah, so that's that's Grandma, although she didn't make very, very many pies, or did she? She made peach cobbler <laughs> and uh, fudge. And a, a mean fried chicken. I mean, this is the South. And then this was the, the photo from Let Go. That was the song I just sang. So cool. This is Audrey's favorite one from a long time, the song that I'm not doing today. Aww. I know. So, I mean, this would be a reason to actually buy the actual the CD just to have the, the artwork booklet. Um, okay, so I'm going to do one more song from The Wheel. and And, and it's... Again, thank Tori Amos, thank Kate Bush, or thank Musical Theater. This one's called The Affair. And yeah, it's exactly what you would think it would be about. Your mother's watching, so maybe just sing the song and not talk about The Affair. It's okay. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's about an affair. And uh, I was single. She was not. Uh, long distance, and uh, and then her girlfriend found out. But I got a song out of it, right? That's life. Okay, here we go. Are you a little crazy in your head? I think she knows you're sleeping in my bed. But meet me stay till the night you may not be blue but i will will you may not be blue but i will how can we he make this damn thing right the more i see the more i lose my sight but meet me in the morning and please stay till the night you may not be blue Just 
again Short and sweet, just like an affair. All right. So that, um, that's what I'm going to do from the wheel tonight. Uh, that was my 1997 release. Uh, do we have any other people in the house or any comments or any questions out there? We've got Jennifer watching it. She liked it so much she had to watch it again. On the All replay right. <laughs> awesome. Well, we've got Jill Bramlett, who is jealous that Jennifer gets to be here. There's a name here I haven't seen before, Susan Sharon Gundersheim. Um, yes, from uh, Northwestern, from my college days, and a Kappa sister. We've got and theater major Jay Simmons, Kate. Larson. Jay from high from high school. Hi, Jay. What? Kate Larson made an interesting comment. She said, "I feel," and then in quotes, "good." Hint, hint. Well, that's a guitar song. Oh, hint, so hint. Tune in next week. And this is. Piano. Ah, yes. So, Kate Larson, tune in next week. Uh, Fran and Audrey are watching. All right. So, Audrey, you, yeah. So, Audrey's mm -hmm. watching the, the awesome, um, I know you're probably going, why can't I find that artwork? It could be featured. And all the way from Prescott, Arizona, Judy O'Leary. <gasps> Judy, how are you, man? It's, uh, what has it been, two, three years? It's I don't even know. It's been a while. But thank you for tuning in. And let's I'm glad see, to have you in the house. Up, finishing up this one, we've got Mason Deal. Mason's back for more. Mason back. from high school. All right. Jamie Krieger, Eddie Lee. Yep, Jamie, and that means Judy's here. Hey, Judy. Judy, I'm, I'm not going to make you choke on your drink tonight. Trust me. And Stacy Joe Moore. I just like saying that. And Stacy Joe Moore. Yeah, from high school. Hi, Stacy. Uh, Jennifer's in the house. Jennifer Liz, West, shalom to your honor. <laughs> Liz Heath Fauntleroy. Liz is back all the way from Chicago, my Chicago days. Hi, and Liz. Jennifer West, shalom to your honor. You, yeah, all right. I'm her name here. Awesome. All right, so let's see, where are we? And you're, uh, you've got some of your um, drowsy people. You've got uh, the best friend, George. Oh, yeah. He needs more life experiences for his music, he says. And you've got Gary, your director, choreographer. He's back. Hey, Gary. <laughs> um, Gary was, oh, he was so fun to work with in Drowsy. We've got some, so we've got the Drowsy gang going on. So Kate Larson made another request, and this one is a piano song. She wants you to do the Islands song. Oh, it's coming. It's a coming, Kate. It's a coming. It's a coming. It's a coming. At you. Um, so we better we better keep rolling, better right? Keep playing, yeah. um, all right. So after the uh, wheel, I uh, produced. I didn't produce. Actually, this was my next album called Open Road, and it was a short album. It, uh, well, I guess you call it an LP. It had five songs on it. That would be an EP. Thank you. EP. Extended EP. play. EP. Extended play. LP was long play. And this was produced by a fairly well-known uh, producer by the name of Scott Matthews out of Marin. Uh, really, he's produced a lot of people. Look him up. And uh, multi-instrumentalist. Judea Eden's favorite EP, she says. Oh, yes. So, hey, Judea. It, it's, it's pretty cool, right? So the way I got hooked up with Scott Matthews was uh, through John Martell, and John Martell is a musician and also a lawyer who was a friend of my dad's who discovered me at the CD release concert for The Wheel and insisted that, um, that Scott Matthews produce me. So he hooked us up. Uh, he didn't pay for it, <laughs> right? but he got us together and, um, and, uh, I worked with Scott for a few months, and this was the result. And I'll tell you, I I learned a lot from Scott in terms of production, and he played so many instruments and really inspired me to dig into the instruments that I already knew. Um, I didn't get a record deal. Uh, that was part of the draw because he, you know, shopped it in L.A. And, and so part of it was, you know, we were we were really pushing to get this, to get me out there. But as you remember, this is 1998. And this is when Cheryl Crow, uh, Sean Colvin, Tori Amos, Sarah McLaughlin, all of these wonderful female uh, singer songwriters were out there. And basically, the 
the remark was, hey, she's great, but we already got all that. We got that. We're flooded. We have, we, it's too much. So they say timing is everything, isn't it? So timing is everything, but you know what? I, I, I got a lot out of the experience. And so it really inspired me then to go back and, uh, produce a bunch of songs. So Crossing came next, which was 2000. And Crossing, the first half of Crossing are songs that were recorded when I recorded The Wheel. But there were too many songs to go on The Wheel. And so they didn't make The Wheel because they just, they didn't fit. They didn't fit uh, style wise. It just, so then I had these songs that were just, had no home. (laughs) You know, these poor little songs. And I had written some new songs and I decided, you know what, I'm, I'm all inspired. I got all these production ideas from Scott. I'm going to play the drums. I'm going to play the bass. I'm going to do all this stuff. And so I did. And so the latter half of the, the CD has um, me full on production. And I had a, a really great time with it. I digress. I'm not going to play anything off of Open Road because Aww. it's not really piano driven. I know. It's all guitar stuff. So you're going to have to go listen to it. And um, here's an interesting tidbit. So the song Open Road is on both of these albums, on both of them. This one, of course, was uh, recorded and produced before this one. Very, very, very different. So if you have nothing better to do, go and listen to both of them and compare them. and, And you can let me know what you like about each of them. I was going to do the piano version of Open Road, but I'm I'm not going to because in, in I want to get through a lot tonight, so I'm going to cut that one and we're going to move on. Sorry, I am going to do a song. That, this this will be a treat from Crossing. That I don't know if I wrote it on guitar or piano, and uh, in in the uh, on the product uh, on the album, it's like it has strings and um, mandolin and all kinds of stuff. And I've never, ever performed it live, ever. See? So it's called Had Enough. And I worked it up on piano because I just, I thought it was, um, it really has the the vibe of the album in, in a lot of ways. And it's very experimental. And so here we go. changed your mind and I went sailing down the shore darling pick up the phone dear I'm waiting on the line and I can see that you are high again and I am oh so very deep inside
Oh, I'm getting some clapping back there. <laughs> oh, thank you for indulging me with that one. Again, that was from Crossing, and I... We have, we have clapping tracks. And uh, I've never done that one live before, so, um, you know... Now, now it probably makes you want to go and and find it and listen to the version on on the album because it's 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 really it's orchestral. Um, I love the oboe, so there's a lot of I use oboe a lot in my albums. So um, keep that in mind when you're going to listen. Um, all right, so moving along with the uh, religious theme, well, I'm going to do the the closing track on Crossing, and it's called. Jesus was a man. And this is kind of a, um, you're going to hear a a lot of spiritual gospelness to it with a little tongue in cheek. Brave the day and step outside Let your hair down, let it blow Oh, oh let it blow I'm gonna run so hard till I cannot breathe Pull the plug and let it just run free Let go until you die Until you die Jesus was a man who walked all over the land I would say he knew his geography well That was Jesus Was a Man from uh, the from Crossing that I released in 2000. Um, all right. Well, welcome, everybody. Thanks again for being here. And thanks for Lou for helping out and feeding me commentary. And, and how you doing over there, Jennifer? You got your beverage? All right. Jennifer's like 20 feet away <laughs> with a mask on. You know, it, we got wipes, you know. I, I tried it. It's just been me in the house, so... Uh, we do have wipes and sanitizer. Yeah. Do we have any questions or? Well, we've got a few more people watching. 
All right. Watching from, I think, Arizona by way of Hawaii. We've got Linda Cicero. Linda! You made it! Linda and Coco. Boy, all right. Well, I'm going to talk about you soon. And then soon. we've got another Linda, Kretlo from... High Street. High Street Station. High Street Station. Linda, thanks for tuning in again. Hawaii, Linda, keeps giving you um, requests. Cries like a baby. Of course, Next it's coming. stop. And then we've got the one I call Glenn by a vowel. Kasprisky. Casper Zicky. Zicky. Sorry. Glenn. Sorry, sorry, Glenn. Glenn, thank you for being here again. I'm, I know I'm taking you down memory lane. Wait till some of the guitar stuff happens next week. Then you're really going to go down memory lane because we're going to go into plain folk world. Yeah. We're waving to Randall Potter. Um, hi, Randall from, from the home of truth. Ah, yes. The home of truth. Jill Bramlett says she always thought that you should have recorded Jesus with a small choir. Now, I don't know if she meant... Record the song Jesus was a man with <laughs> no, a small choir. I think she means. I think she or means. Or does she mean <laughs> you should have recorded Jesus with a small choir? Well, <laughs> considering Amy was not around. It, well, there could be a Jesus. There could be a Jesus among us it's now. Two thousand. Is that the Jesus thing? Two thousand and twenty. I don't know. It's five seven eight zero oh in my. Now, now here's the thing: is that like, the, these days people would be like, Jesus was a man. Well. <sighs> Well, he could have been a woman. You're missing the point of the song, right? It's 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 tongue in cheek and Pretty sure Jesus you know. was a man. Right. He's a character. I he mean not a character. Was he not, was a as we call it now, white with long hair. He was in Africa, so he was probably African looking, but All right. he was definitely a man. All right. We're we're going down a, a, we're going down a rabbit hole we do not want to go down right now. We want to go to the next stop. <laughs> oh, somebody asked for that. Um, we're going to, we're going to go to the next album, which is called strange and beautiful. Um, and that I put out in 2004 more artwork. So this was done by my friend Lyle Harris and Lyle, uh, did this, the sketch of me. And then the art was a, a, a different painting she had done. And then we kind of melded them together and, uh, Rob, I'll talk about Rob next week. But Rob, actually, Rob produced the Strange and Beautiful with me, and um, and all of my subsequent albums. So he's a great buddy, and his wife Mahoko did the layout for this one, and uh, a lot of guitar songs on this one that I won't be doing today because I'm not doing guitar today. I'm doing piano, and I'm, I compartmentalize. I'm a Capricorn. So, uh, but there were two. There was a few piano songs on here. I did So Serious to close out the Joni Mitchell uh, show last week. So I'm not going to do So Serious. But I'm going to do Next Stop. And Next Stop, funny story, I wrote that in 1994. And it was it was a, it was one of those lost children that never had a home on an album. And it finally... No, I take that back. Actually, it did have a home. It had a home on the Rick and Amy CDs, which is another chapter... So my buddy Rick, who's out there, Rick Cuevas, who's um, more prolific than I am, he's got tons of albums, look him up. Uh, we're hoping to do a Rick and Amy show, but Rick and I did some uh, CDs and Next Stop ended up on one of those. But it didn't end up on one of my solo albums until Strange and Beautiful. And this is Next Stop. I will raise the tides 
become the woman to the child that I had. But take me to the mansion. Trust these hands that are slowing me down. Yes, that was Next Stop from Strange and Beautiful. Um, I, as I was playing that, I, I, I started thinking and I spaced for just a, a moment. I was like, I think I wore this jacket <laughs> at the Strange and Beautiful CD release concert. It's, it's, it's my rock and roll jacket. You know, what can I say, right? <laughs> and I'm really hot right now, but, you know, you, you suffer for your art, right? But I got, I, I jazzed it up in my little piano scarf. Um, you know what, I... I I think my niece gave this to me. I think Madeline gave this this uh, scarf. I'm pretty sure that she did. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was Next Stop from Strange and Beautiful and also from the Rick and Amy. What's that? A couple of new names. Oh, let's, let's read some new names. Yeah. Carter, Reed. Mm. Carter is back. I have not learned one singular sensation. <laughs> that was his request last week. Nice to see you again, or, or kind of. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Michael Ippolito or Mikhail. Yes, from Hockaday. Oh, Michael, you got to stay on because I've got a song about Mrs. Grigsby. <laughs> now you, it's called. Well, I just knew her as Michael and Polito. That that's what I knew her right. So, but it's about the thinking chair. You remember the thinking chair? <laughs> Hi, Debbie Dean from Cisco Grill. Yes. My kin, my kin folk at Cisco. If you're in Dallas. You got it. You got to go to Cisco Grill and order off the menu with Mario. All right, keep them going. Christopher Arnold. Mm. Chris and Chris is living in the apartment where I wrote a lot of these songs. Um, and uh, well, I'm not going to tell people where you live, Chris. But well, you, thank you for tuning in, San Francisco. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll do that. Yeah, he lives in the apartment I lived Call in me, and, and wrote many, many songs in the '90s there. Go ahead. I was saying your listeners can call me. I'll give them the address and they can go visit no, Chris. No, no. All right, I want to keep it moving. Right? These people want to hear some songs. Tofi's in the house. Yeah, Tofi. Yes, he is. Tofi's in the house. And Sierra is blessing your jacket. All right. It's my rock and roll jacket. 
All right. So we're going to do um, kind of the hit from, or one of the hits from Strange and Beautiful. And my mind was the market. <sighs> right. Uh, Steve Kahn did orchestrations on the market and also on So Serious. No, not So Serious, So Spring. And uh, another very, very talented uh, bass player and uh, uh, cello player. He taught me how to play cello for cowgirls when I did cowgirls. But uh, the market, so I worked for a company called, um, what was it called? CBiz Technologies. And we implemented Great Plains uh, 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 business accounting software program. I know you're like, what? Yeah, I'm, I have that side of me. I'm kind of geeky, techy, uh, and uh, but now I'm a teacher, thankfully. Uh, you know, it just wasn't for me. And I really was hoping that I would get laid off. And this was like in 2000 when the, the, the bust came and uh, I got laid off. I, I, now, I missed the money, trust me, and I still do. But uh, I wrote the song right after I got laid off and it's called The Market. Everybody's talking about the drop in the market And how we're headed for recession We're back. We are back live. Took us a good few minutes. I will repeat what Jennifer said. Facebook does not like Amy singing a song about recessions and market crashes. That, you know, what it must be. Heaven forbid you sing a song about a pandemic. Imagine what could happen. <laughs> and people are back. All right. So um, I, should we even, should we just skip the market? Yes. No more market. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm not asking you. I'm asking, um, should we skip the market and just move on? People are saying skip the market and move on. That's what Libby Rob Net Myers is saying. All right. My mom says to skip the market. Well, that's too bad. So you'll just have to go to the album to listen to the market because it does not want to uh, cooperate with us today. All right. So we're going to just, uh, um, we're going to keep traveling on and uh, we're going to move into the next album, which was Lucky. And I uh, released that in 2008. Again, a lot of guitar songs on Lucky. So, um, Lucky you, if you tune in for the guitar set, you can hear some of those. But uh, the the piano hit from Lucky is a song called In the Clouds. So I'm going to do In the Clouds for you right now. Hopefully that's not going to anger Facebook and kick us all off. In the Clouds. Here we go. The sun is coming up again And I feel I'm waiting for my life to begin And I've read so many books on this They say if you want to change your life You gotta make a list So I make my way back to seat 10A And I fasten my buckle as the plane pulls away And I get out my paper and pen And I write out that same list again And everything seems clearer in the clouds At 30,000 feet above the ground Yes, everything seems clearer in the clouds Just so many things that I wish I had now Is this wrong or is this just life? Have I missed the point or am I caught up in the hype? And am I running to or running away From all the things I want to do in my 
my life today Cause every time that I made that list Well, the same damn things show up on it And everything seems clearer in the clouds At 30,000 feet above the ground Yes, everything seems song without it crashing if you're if you're just now tuning in we we uh we kind of crash and burn when i was doing a song called the market just like the market could do right i mean isn't that isn't that strange that's like so weird right so um again thank you guys for for joining us um and uh for amy sings amy i've been just sharing some songs uh that I've written over the past three decades, uh, the piano songs. And I'm going to come back next week and do some of the guitar songs from that time period. So, so I've shared a little bit about um, the albums, a little history of them. Uh, I've got a few more songs where I know we're, you know, I try to keep it to an hour, but we got a little, you know, thrown off by, by getting uh, knocked off. So I hope thrown off by getting thrown off. I'll, um, uh, I hope that you'll you'll stick around and uh, and watch for a few more songs. And again, if you're wondering where to find me, I'm on Spotify. I'm on iTunes. My website is amymyersmusic.com. I have a YouTube channel called Amy Myers Videos, all one word. And uh, if you are want to throw a tip my way, uh, it's paypal.me slash amymyersmusic or venmo.com slash amy-myers-26. Um, every, you know, a little bit helps because it pays for, I finally got my extension headphone cable if you watched last week. And so now I have a cable and I'm not like being yanked back to the board. Yay. And, uh, you know, it helps a little bit because yeah, I'm a teacher and, and I'm thankful that I have uh, a job, but I did, I, lo I lost some income on, on some, uh, other projects and, and gigs that I usually do. So, um, yeah, and a whole camp, but you know. Do what you can, and uh, I just appreciate you being here and tuning in and, and supporting me and uh, showing you love. Of, I do a lot of political fundraising, so what we do is we always give people something that they can sponsor. So the first person that wants to sponsor a brand new soft sustain pedal for Amy, hop on Amazon.com because when every time she hits that sustain pedal, it goes click. Are we back? <laughs> this is just crazy. Are we back, Jennifer? I think we're back. I think we're back. All right. I don't know what's going yes. on. Claudia okay. Escobar is watching. All right. We got a few more songs. So after the Strange and Beautiful, <laughs> we um, I was with a group called uh, Bittersweet with Judea Eden. Judea Eden's still here, and uh, and Jenny Day, and we had a trio, and and we did um, what did you call that? An L uh, an EP. Extended play. Extended right. play. And, and so this next song was on that. She cries like a baby. And um, it, it will go on my next album, if I ever get my next album out. I have a lot of tracks recorded that I recorded a few years ago. And I just, I, I got 
distracted and, and not distracted. I started doing musical theater and then, you know, I just, it, uh, it, it got kind of put on the back burner. But so for Linda, who's out there, my friend, uh, my, who moved to Hawaii and was lived there with Coco for, uh, Linda and Coco lived there for about 10 years. And that was always her dream to do that. Now they're back, uh, on the mainland, but I, I wrote this song, um, for Linda and here we go. It's so hard to leave She's got the soul of a gypsy And a heart so deep She's going to the islands She says they heal The touch of the ocean We made it through a whole song. Yay. Right. So that was She Cries Like a Baby that was um, on the Bittersweet album and will probably be on my next album. And really, it's more just like about um, it, it's it's to say that, you know, someone who is just so in touch with their emotions and and, um, you know, is vulnerable and 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 is moved by things is really what the song is about. Somebody that, that can be moved by the simplest thing is just swimming in the ocean, right? You know, the, 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 the touch of the water uh, on you, if, if you can be so present as to even feel that, I think that's a great place to be, right? So that's really what the song is about. Yes. 
Well, I have a technical question for anybody that has experience with Facebook Live and iPads. Your iPad just yelled at me that it's full, that the storage is full, which makes me wonder. Mm. Is, I thought this was just a straight through broadcast on Facebook Live, but maybe it's buffering on the iPad and then uploading to Facebook. It may be a buffer upload. Okay. I believe we call that store and forge. Store, store well, and all right. That's something I'm going to have to look into. So, that, so we're living on borrowed time right now, right? Well, it just warned me that iPad is full. So All right, well, let's just keep going. Keep going. Because so I just got forward. two more songs, okay. two more songs to share f with you guys. So, you know, um, now we're, we're, we're going into unreleased territory. Ooh, unreleased territory. These have not been released. They will soon. And I, I've had a request um, for a song called Drowning. <laughs> Maybe Facebook will like it. And... uh it's just a metaphor for, um, yeah, let, I'm going to play this song because we're living on borrowed time. All right. I've been under so long probably should be dead the rippled water high above my head but I've grown accustomed to holding my breath I've done it for so long I'm pretty good at it it's a habit I can't quit to go but I've been caught in your undertow I'm dizzy spinning and running out of air it's getting heavy and hard to bear yeah it's really hard to bear It's weighing me down and I'm drowning, drowning. It's weighing me down and I'm drowning, drowning. And I can't make a sound cause I'm drowning, drowning. hurt you keep carrying around it is the brick that is dragging us down I try to tell you you have to let it go it's just too heavy to hang on to that loan so you have to let it go It's weighing you down and you're drowning, drowning. It's weighing you down and you're drowning, drowning. Say you're leaving this town because you're drowning, drowning.
We have the artificial clapping going on. Hopefully you're clapping it. So Anna, I know Anna requested that one. Um, yeah, Anna, I, I hope, I know you had a big move, so I hope you're getting settled. Um, uh, and we will... That song like we were in the back. You were singing? Yeah, it was, we were singing. I hope you were, and, were you drowning in your drinks back over there? <laughs> hey, everybody, cheers. It's a catchy... Oh, Cheers. Happy Thursday. Um, this one says, fetch me my wine, right? Cheers. Uh-oh. There we go. Here comes another okay. cheers. Oh, here. Come oh, in. yeah. Six Come feet apart. Here. Six feet. That's Jennifer's switch, six ready? feet. Switch. Here we go. Uh-oh. Switch. All right. Six feet. Oh, Keep that six up. feet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Six feet. <laughs> And there's oh, Jennifer. I control this. Wave. Yep. Yeah. She's in the house. We weren't lying. She yeah. re she really is here. Here with a bed sheet on her face. It's not a mask. Man, you got to get a mask. Case. Is it literally a pillowcase? I know. I had to use a shopping bag once when I forgot my mask. I used a shopping bag and a binder. Oh, I plate. like my. You'll have to. In the bag is my mask with the with the wine glass. Maybe you can find that and I can show that off. All right, guys. Thanks for for sticking out with us. I know we we went kind of long. We had some technical difficulties and and whatnot. I, well, the piano one's cool. Yeah. Oh, well, it was right there. Oh, so, in the yeah. bag though is the is the one. I don't know what bag you're talking. What bag? What bag? The what bag? The, the 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 bag. All right. There's 25 bags in this house. Which bag? The one that says N95 on it. How about this? <laughs> yeah, it's well, I mean, this is this is I should have done the set with this, right? <laughs> it's my piano one. Yeah, I like it. All right. Now now we're digressing, but that's a cool one you gave me that. Joke. Okay, that's the one. All right. Here we go. No, no, I that's all that's that's the only one I wanted. Show off the special okay. one that I got for you. All right. This one right here. That's, oh, wait, let me, let me zoom in on it. They can't really see it. The audience can't see it. All right, and then we're going to play one last song. We're going to play one last song after I show you my mask. There's there's that. All right, see? So we're practicing safe. Yeah, it's my wine glass. Sure. Okay, that's it. That's it. I'm coming down. All right, six feet. We don't have to be six feet apart. Okay. So once again, thank you for uh, for joining us. And, uh, uh, and we had Jennifer in the house t tonight and we had you guys in the house and Lou was in the house and, uh, we will be back, uh, next week, hopefully <laughs> for some guitar songs. And, uh, I'm going to close this out with another, uh, song that has not been released yet. Have you heard this one, Jennifer? What is it? The thinking chair, the Mrs. Grigsby song. Oh, okay. Jennifer says she's intimately familiar with the thinking chair. So we went to the same grade school together and, uh, we had a teacher for first grade named Mrs. Grigsby. <laughs> and, uh, and then of course, Miss Grigsby came back in third grade to haunt us. And, you know, I don't know, maybe she was a nice lady. Maybe she had stuff going on. I don't know, but she was mean. And I ended up in the thinking chair pretty much the whole year. So, uh, this is called the thinking chair. You'll like this. Had Mrs. Grigsby for first grade She had a thinking chair for girls who were bad. Because Jennifer... I, 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 we, we hate vertical video, but what happens? What happens if you turn? All right. I hate vertical video, but this is going to be our last song, and, and this is the thinking chair, and Jennifer's in the house, and we both had this teacher, so we're going to do it. And Jill, right, okay, so we're doing the thinking chair, and I know this is, this is just terrible video, but hopefully you get some, do you, you have good sound? I don't know, we're going to find out. Take two. This is live. Had Mrs. Grigsby for first grade. She had a thinking 
chair for girls who were bad. Alone in the corner, it was shiny and white. The big scarlet letter that would mark you for life if you sat there. Well, I sat there almost every day. And I did my thinking, but I still had to stay alone in the corner, sentenced for the day. No court of justice, the key was thrown away and forgotten. So my parents took me to Dr. Martin, true story, to see if there was something wrong. He asked me lots of questions and watched me while I played. I colored in some pictures, drew letters, played some games, drank hot chocolate. No one mad at me, and Dr. Martin said I was okay. I'm okay. So they sent me off to second grade And Mrs. Healthman took me under her wing Maybe they told her that I had seen a shrink Or maybe those hours in the chair got me to think a break. <laughs> yeah, they came through and I started to forget all the hard times of first grade. No more thinking, thinking chair. Yeah. And no more thinking chair. If you sat there, you can sing along. No more thinking, thinking chair. We have some thinking chairs in here. No more thinking, thinking chair. No more thinking, thinking chair. No more thinking chair. Thank God. Whew, we survived Miss Grigsby. Woo. And we survived a very interesting uh, night of Facebook, crashing and burning. And, but we, we were perseverant, and we stayed, and we made it through the end of the show. This is the end of the show. And we thank you for joining us tonight. And we hope that we will see you back again next Thursday for the guitar set. Despite all of the technical problems, nevertheless, she persisted. Yes, we did. All right. So thank you. Um, 
I'll be doing a family concert on Saturday at 4 o'clock, and then I will be on Magical Bridge doing another family concert at 12 noon. This is all Pacific time on Sunday. I've got a big weekend. Magical Bridge, look it up. On uh, They do a lot of great things, um, bringing music to a lot of homes. Thank you again for joining us, and we will see you out there. And with that, good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. Everybody's talking about the drop in the market. And how we're headed for recession. Me, I'm celebrating getting laid off. From a 